a lovely little wallow in this little pool behind us here and so we have the female with all her little piglets um, and they were lying down in that little water hole until we came around the corner and they got a little bit of a fright and went running out and the reason they did that is because they know they're a little bit slower in water and so they don't want to get caught short so they've run out just to see what we are and so it seems that they are quite happy that we're not too much of a threat and so they're sticking around which is great for us now you can see those little ones they are so so cute um, these little guys are probably now about I would say three to four months old they would have been born around October November and so are still very very small and will be really really skittish because of the amount of predators that will hunt them and that's why you can see the female is watching us very carefully making sure we're not something that could potentially hurt her little ones and there she goes now we know she's a female not only because she has all the little babies with her but also if you look on her face there the name of these guys warthogs refers to the little warts that they have on their face now she's turned her head around but there we go you see near her eyes she has two little warts there and so the female only has those ones there whereas the male will have them in the middle of the face between the eyes and the tusks and the reason why he has them is to protect himself when he's fighting with another male so that's why we know that that is a girl and it looks like a little young male in front here you can see the little warts there Mrs. Ski, um, yes, warthogs are related to pigs. They are part of the same family. Um, as you can see, they look very pig-like, don't they? Um, but yes, they are related to pigs. Um, they all come from the same lineage. So they're very much like a wild boar. Um, these are kind of the wild boars of South Africa. And we have one other species that we get in this area called a bush pig, um, which is related as well. But the bush pig is quite scarce um, and is generally comes out only at night. Whereas these warthogs are only active during the day. Very seldom you'll see them at night. They know that at night time all the predators will be out and about. Um, you'll find leopards and lions moving around. And so these guys know that that's going to be dangerous. So they'd rather go into a termite mound or a hole in the ground and they spend their night in there waiting for the sun to come up in the morning and then they can come out and start feeding again. Now, at this time of the year you'll find that most of what they're going to be eating is grass so you can see all the little ones are feeding away on the grass seeds um, and the little shoots that are coming up through the ground. We have had a little bit of rain in the last few weeks and so there is a little bit of growth um, that's come through and so that will be really nice and tasty for these little piglets but as the grass gets less and less and we go into winter so it becomes harder for them and you see they've got like a little round snout and so with that round snout you'll see sometimes they go down to the ground and they use that round snout to dig up little roots that they're going to eat because the roots in winter is where all the nutrients is but aren't they sweet so when they get big they don't look that pretty but as little ones they are very very cute